my name is uh, Isaias Alamayev. I'm a full professor here in Jima University. In Ethiopia, we have hundreds of hospitals and also a lot of health centers, health institutions. But when you go in, the equipment what you have, some of them is not even maintained, some of them unfunctional totally, because of lack of biomedical engineer, because of lack of someone who can work in biomedical engineering discipline. And that's why the Minister of Health asked Jimba University to launch this program. But at that time, we didn't have a single biomedical engineer. No laboratories, no equipment at all. We just started. And then we come up to solve the challenge what we have, the issue of faculties, qualified faculty. Having research laboratory to resume master's program. How can improve the innovators who can come up with a good idea but lack to scale up as an entrepreneur? Before these projects, uh, we didn't have any females that has a good position. But now, more than five different females had position in at school levels. They are leaders, chairholders, big GMA coordinators, laboratory readers. So to improve this problem, we came up with such kind of projects, Niche 247. Then we start up to overcome those challenges. We have been doing on different activities like capacity building, like training, like incubation center. And there are many activities that we have been done and of course doing right now as well. Jima University is well known with a unique educational philosophy. That's what you call it community-based education. Community-based education means to make the education relevance to the societal need. The student and the instructor, the professor, need to be engaged in the community fully. Each engineer, when they reach fifth year, they have to conduct prototype and come up problem-solving kinds of approach. This is uh, an incubation center, a space for the student in order to brainstorm, generate different, in order to discuss different uh, projects uh, in this uh, workshop. There is a motto, we are in the community, so, so based on that, we have different program, uh, research programs that serve the community. I was motivated to do the project uh, by the former Jima University students whose name is Hachalo, uh, who died of uh, leukemia due to lack of early diagonizing system. What is the problems uh, nowadays people are facing? The problem is about abnormal uh, body fat accumulation in, the, in their body. In what way we have to tackle these problems? Just we have to design a system that's very simple, easily accessible, and can operate with different languages. Uh, this prototype is designed by uh, five uh, girls. We are biomedical engineers. A good delivery of our mothers is our happiness and also our uh, tomorrow's wish is uh, to be a mother. And we try to solve uh, our problem by ourselves since we are engineers. Yeah, this is my system. The system takes an image from uh, the microscope that already connected with the developer system. This is the segmentation part. Finally, it says that the patient has acute lymphoblastic leukemia. You can accurately diagnose system with less than, less than one minute. On the market, there are a kind of devices such like chemistry analyzer. They are very big in size, as well as their cost is in millions. Now we use this size because most of the people in Ethiopia need very small size devices cost should be very effective so most of the people can afford the least the cost effective device even the machine can uh, reach out the wider community who are living in rural areas these two sensors sit perpendicularly and they put on the fenders of the mother they check uh, the contraction by here, here. and they put like this uh, like this on uh, pregnant women the two sensors uh, measure the bending or the pressure exerted by uh, a mothers. The vaccine devices are not uh, available uh, in enough number in our countries. What makes these uh, devices is unique. It simplifies for the 
uh, nurses or midwives how is going on without uh, uh, checking everything is in detail by their selfies. It simplifies their workers with uh, increasing accuracy. Yeah, for the future, uh, uh, I want to do you know, clinical trial uh, for my system, clinical trial as well as to start or take part in startup business uh, if I get a fund. Because of big Jimma funding, we can uh, test the machine very effectively and we change from low fidelity prototype to high fidelity prototype. Now it's almost a functional prototype. So in terms of funding, as well as providing different uh, facilities like these uh, computers, as well as these incubation centers, Big Juma played a significant role for the improvement as well as for the functionality of this prototype. The main thing is helps us on uh, business parts, how to sustain on the market, how to make our business, and also how to introduce ourselves on the customers. Even we call sometimes uh, staff from medical center. So we just sit together, we discuss what problems they are facing, what we just plan to do. They just hear, they just give comment because they are the one who is going to use at the end. So with that in mind, we just start designing things and we, that's why we are just successful. One of the problems that we have been facing before we just started this program was lack of a proper staff to just run the program that we have. So with this project, we just upgrade our staff from MS to PhD. We have well-trained staffs who can taught students in a way that we expect. Mm, my name is Ganna Tadasa, the postgraduate program or the master's program in uh, bioinstrumentation engineering it took me two years to complete. In addition to that, I have attended postgraduate diploma program in University of Cape Town uh, by getting sponsor from this niche project. Uh, I am Gizetis. I went to uh, University of Cape Town as a staff uh, development plan through this niche project. So I started my PhD in the University of Cape Town in 2016. Now I am working as a lecturer in the school and I'm also a leading chair of bioinstrumentation stream. I started working here as an assistant professor and also become the chair of the biomedical imaging. I've been involving in development of uh, the biomedical imaging curriculum through this niche project. Studying in UCT gave me a lot of opportunities. One is I was able to participate in a curriculum development process. Like UCT is the biggest, the big university in Africa. So the professors and lecturers, they are, have very rewarding experience. Knowing them and working with them was very uh, nice for me. And it also helped me in establishing the networks. Studying PhD changed uh, my perspective in different ways. Uh, did a lot of upgrading myself in terms of doing research. Interacting with people with different background also gave me a lot of experience. So that was uh, a big uh, I mean, opportunity for me. Because you're the first biomedical PhD? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm also the, <laughs> the only one biomedical <laughs> engineering PhD. Uh, from Ethiopia. We do have different consortium. The consortium from uh, Western, from Finland, and also some Netherlands experience, but also from Africa. So it's South-South interaction and South-North interaction. We Africans, yeah, because the African problems, we have more or less similar complex problems, but with, through this project, we try to solve the problem together. So that's a great success. These uh, three projects, GIMA project, Niche 247, Addis University project, Niche 246, and Tagbarad project, these three projects coordinated by a single consortium, that's SINOP, three to one. It's very tough, but it creates for us a synergy to work together. We share the resource what we have. We share even the time what we spend for this project. Currently we already did a kind of tracer study. The main target is to improve our programs so that it should answer the questions of 
the market. Because after all, who's going to consume our graduate is the market. So the market needs very specific skill and knowledge. So we have to produce individual who is competing with different people and will succeed. And of course, if they are not successful, the failure is from our side. So we conducted employer satisfaction survey and we evaluated the program what we have, the graduate what we produce, and the expectation from the beneficiary. We got a very satisfactory result. Yeah, yeah it's really very nice project. Yeah. yeah, it helped us a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.